Hello everyone and welcome to another Wrath of the Lich King Fast Guide for Fresh 80s. Today we're talking about the PvE Marksmanship Hunter, and let's jump right in. The three specs for Hunter are Survival, Beastmaster, and Marksman. While all three are viable, the Marksman slightly edges out the other with damage output, as it's the easiest of the three, and it's highly dependent on physical damage. And also very dependent on you standing still during the whole fight. To really get the full potential Marksman has, minimization of movement is absolutely essential, and not everyone can do it effectively. Being a hunter means you have a large number of options for different pets, but the community consensus is to use the wolf so you can gain the spell called Furious Howl. And when that's activated, you'll gain 320 attack power for 20 seconds, and that's on a 40 second cooldown. Before we get any further, let me say I have read the debates and the rebuttals about different builds and aspects of this and other guides. I have read the rebuttals of the rebuttals, and what I'm showing you has worked for me in Ice Crown Citadel 25 and for others. So if you see something you don't agree with, leave me a message in the comments and we can work through it. So moving on, we'll start with stat prioritization. It looks like this. Hit rating is 164 cap, then agility, then armor penetration, then crit rating. So the difference between agility and armor penetration crosses over when you have a passive amount of 750 passive armor penetration. That doesn't include your gems. That's what passive means. It's just from your gear. Once you do have 750, about 750 passive armor penetration, it's the better stat than agility. Then you want to change over all of your gems to armor penetration the best that you can. Spell rotation slash priority. Some people consider it a rotation. Some people consider it a priority. The general shot rotation, and there's some debate over this, and different people have different lists. This is a good one. Rapid fire, serpent sting, chimera shot, aimed shot, arcane shot, readiness, refresh, rapid fire, chimera shot, aimed shot, arcane shot, steady shot. Let's talk about that arcane shot. It's only if you're below 400 armor penetration. If you're above 400, you need to use steady shot. Remember, armor penetration is for your physical damage, and that's penetrating the armor that is on what you're shooting at. And at 400, it becomes better to just use the steady shot. Arcane shot is a magic arrow shot. This is the talent tree for fresh 80. Pause the video if you need to. And this is the talent tree for the introductory 10 to 10 mans. On your glyphs, we're looking at glyph of steady shot, glyph of serpent sting, and glyph of kill shot. Moving on to the gems, for your meta gem, you want relentless earth siege diamond. In order to activate it, you're going to have to fill a blue gem slot, so we're going to use the nightmare tier. For your red gems, it's the same as with your regular agility and armor penetration. Use the agility first until you have passive armor penetration over the threshold, and then swap it over to the fractured cardinal ruby. For your yellow gems, you have the options based on if you're hit capped or not, so the glinting amortine and then the deadly amortine if you already have your hit cap, because that offers the agility with the critical strike rating. There is a lot of debate over which profession is best for the hunter. I think it makes sense for in your end game if you're going to go with jewel crafting and engineering. Engineering offers you those nitro boots, which are really great to have in ICC on the final fight with the Lich King, where you have to have really good movement speed. With jewel crafting, you're going to be offered those extra slots for gems. The enchanting list, as usual, is just simply posted in the description for you to see. It's a lot to go over, but spoiler alert, you're going to be putting in agility and armor penetration and chance on yourself. For consumables, let's look towards the Flask of Endless Rage. With food, we're getting the Blackened Dragonfin or the Hardy Rhino, again, depending on if you're stacking the agility or the armor penetration. Potion of Speed is great. And don't forget the scrolls. You can use the Scroll of Agility if there's no Death Knight, Shaman, or Druid. Those classes' buffs will cancel out the Scroll of Agility and make it not do anything. You also have some food that you can give your pet. It's the Spiced Mammoth Treats, and those are plus 30 strength to your pet. That covers everything as far as a very basic fresh to 80 guide. There are different talent builds that you would look at if you're going to be doing ICC 25. Um, it's also going to be sort of dependent on your gear that you're using. If you want to know more, leave me a comment. Be sure to hit that like button. I've made this as quick and concise as possible to not waste your time. And thanks for watching.